Uh, while former President Donald Trump sits in court, President Joe Biden hits the campaign trail. He begins a three-day sweep through Pennsylvania, one of the swing states that could determine the outcome of the presidential election. President Joe Biden departs the White House on his way to Scranton, Pennsylvania, returning to the community where he was born in 1942. Biden is making Scranton the first stop on his campaign tour this week. And I learned a lot here in Scranton. I learned that money doesn't determine your worth. President Biden focused on taxes, saying former President Trump wants to help the rich while he wants to help the middle class. He learned that paying taxes was something people who work for a living did, not him. He learned that telling people you're fired was something to laugh about. But Make America Great Again, Inc. writes, Bidenomics is failing Pennsylvanians. As the price of everyday necessities continues to soar, Joe Biden's solution to this crisis is to raise taxes on hardworking families. President Trump will cut taxes and unleash American prosperity. The two competing campaigns also offer a stark difference on abortion. Vice President Kamala Harris has held two pro-abortion events in the last four days, traveling to Nevada and Arizona, where the state Supreme Court recently upheld a pro-life law dating back over a century. But for the first time in a very long time, we are seeing a full-on attempt intent to restrict rights, to take rights. SBA Pro-Life America calls Vice President Harris Biden's abortion czar. The pro-life group writes, she refuses to name a single limit on abortion she would support. 